Hi everyone, my name is Miguel de Villa and I'm an Applications Engineer here with Go Engineer. Today I'm here to present a quick tip on utilizing Speedpack in your top level assemblies. Typically, Speedpack subassemblies are deployed from the top level assembly by selecting an individual subassembly's configuration and setting it to a Speedpack version of it, or by creating one on the fly. However, you don't have to wait to load and open the top-level assembly in order to begin using any available speedpacks. Let's switch to a version of my model where I have several sub-assemblies defined with speedpack configurations but aren't currently being used. In the File Open dialog of SolidWorks, you can use this Use Speedpack checkbox option right here to select all available subassembly speedpack configurations for use when opening that assembly. This allows you to both dramatically reduce the load times of your assembly, as well as avoid having to manually set speedpack configurations for each subassembly going forward. Aside from the file open dialog, you can also access this functionality by right clicking on the name of your top level assembly in your feature tree, going to speed pack options and hitting use speed pack. If you want to reset all of your speed pack configurations to their fully resolved parent configurations, you can also right click under speed pack options, set speed pack to parent. However, the use speed pack option only affects the most immediate subassemblies in the hierarchy. It does not dig into any nested subassemblies in order to find available speedpack configurations, nor will it switch existing and currently active subassembly configurations to completely different ones in order to find one with an available speedpack. This has been Miguel de Villa here with Go Engineer. Thank you all for watching.